Good afternoon and welcome to everyone. This is Ms. Rosemary, your moderator, and we are back for the second session today of our lecture series, Themes of Life. We hope that you enjoyed and learned so much from the lecture we had this morning. Before we begin our lecture this afternoon, I invite all of you to ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit in this endeavor. Let us entrust ourselves to God that all our aspirations may come into fruitful realization. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we are meeting today to conduct this online lecture. Guide our hearts and our minds in the spirit of wonder and awe. Impart your supreme wisdom upon our activities so that our affairs may reach a successful conclusion. Thank you for being our source of guidance today. Be with us always, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before I introduce our second lecturer for today, may I remind our viewers that you may post your comments and questions or send it to us privately. Feel free to also share this session using hashtag CSMA or hashtag Be a Monican, hashtag Lumen Mundi, or hashtag Light of the World. Help us share and spread the knowledge from this lecture series. At this point, let me introduce to you our speaker for this afternoon. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in Marketing in Centro Escolar University. She worked as a branch marketing manager at the SM Store Baliwag from 2010 to 2016. She also worked as store manager in Toy Kingdom, SM Baliwag from 2016 to 2018. In 2019, she took her educational units in Lourdes College of Bulacan. She has been teaching in the Senior High School Department of Colegio de Santa Monica de Anguet for three years now. Apart from that, our speaker has professional certification in the International English Language Testing System, or IELTS, and is working as a language teacher in 5-1 Talk. On top of that, she is a proud mompreneur, a business owner of convenience and a tap on cosmetics online shop. Let us all welcome Mrs. Maria Irene Armenita and give her a virtual clap.
All right. Paki-comment naman kung naririnig niyo ako. Can you hear me? Okay, good afternoon once again. This is the third time that I'm going to greet you. So I hope that everyone is okay this afternoon. Okay, and um, samahan po ninyo ako ngayong hapon because you're going to have a very interesting topic for this afternoon. Okay, uh, habang nagkakapi po tayo, magkwentuhan tayo sa mandali. Okay, at uh, pag-usapan natin ang mga issues na napapanahon. I promise ko sa inyo, um, hindi ito boring, hindi kayo aantokin. Tatry ko po yan para po hindi sayang ang oras nito. Alright. So, to start off, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Ayan, hindi po to recitation, but um, gusto ko lang malaman if you still remember um, yung mga panahon o kung naaalala nyo pa yung word economics. Ha? Naaalala nyo pa ba yan? Okay. Baka, isis, baka mag, maging sagot ninyo, ah, yes, nung kami high school kay Mrs. Cruz, ayan yung teacher namin. Or, kung wala pang K-12, yung mga nanay na manonood ngayon, uh, baka ang sasagot nila eh, anong araw sa college? Okay? Tama ba? Tingin ko yan yung magiging response ninyo uh, with regards to this topic, economics. Okay? But, you know what? Um, to tell you now, economics is actually part of our daily lives. Okay? Ito po ay uh, parte ng ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Ayan. Gusto nyo ng prueba? Gusto nyo ng ebidensya? Siyempre, kailangan ano, para maniwala ang ating mga uh, listeners and viewers for this afternoon. Okay, so um, I, we are going to talk about an important question. Why is economics important in our daily lives? Okay, so let us try to answer this question. Um, Next page, please. Okay, the first question is, how does economic affect uh, our lives? Okay, in, in our daily lives, okay? Pag-usapan natin yung kaninang umaga, di ba? Nung tayo ay gumising, meron tayong dalawang option. So, first is patayin yung alarm clock kung meron kayo nun, nag-alarm kayo. Pangalawa, isnoose at matulog ulit. So, meron, binigyan kayo ng option para pumili dun sa dalawa. Okay? So, kung ang napili natin, eh, tumayo at uh, gumising na, meron ulit pa na dalawang option. So, it's kumain kayo ng breakfast o hindi na kasi wala ng oras. Ayan. Now, uh, ang agony ng mga nagtatrabaho ng mga nagko-commute is that papasok ba ako o hindi? Sa mga estudyante ko, aatinan ko ba yung first period o hindi? Ayan. Laging may choices. Now, bakit kailangan, bakit ko ito sinasabi ngayon? Anong kinalaman nito sa economics? Okay? In fact, um, it is economics. Kasi uh, we're talking about uh, opportunity. Okay? Sa economics aspect, this is opportunity costs. So, ito yung we are faced to decide on choosing. Ayan. And when we choose, palagi no, na meron tayong nasasakripisyo. Halimbawa, okay, ang mga bata ngayon, um, if they want to have fun, yan, nagpa-party, pero syempre ngayon, medyo limitado, okay, uh, meron siyang option na umaten doon sa party. Eh, pero dahil may exam siya, pipili siya. It's either... Uh, attend ba siya dito sa birthday na to o mag-aaral siya? Na in the long run, ang effect ay papasa siya sa exam, magiging proud ang parents niya, mataas yung grades niya, ayan, and um, will affect, will affect um, his or her grades in the future. So that is economics, okay? That is opportunity cost. Now in the sense of, uh, if you still remember, In economics, meron tayong tinatawag ng macroeconomics, di ba? Saka microeconomics, di ba? Napakadali. Macro, from the word macro, big, malakihan. Um, uh, yun nga, uh, whole concept, okay? Ito naman si Mamo, palalim na ng palalim. Ito kasi talaga yung challenge. 
kapag itinuturo ko na itong subject na to kasi very serious eh no we're talking about problems in the economy ayan mama dami ko ng problema pati ba naman problema ng bansa pag problemahin natin pero kasi in the long run makikita natin kung ano magiging epekto nito sa atin eh so let's talk about macroeconomics no meron tayong tinatawag na inflation ayan ano nga ba inflation ito yung pagbaba ng value ng peso okay ano naman kinalaman niyan sa buhay ko ma'am di ba wala naman yan wala naman akong pakialam, wala naman akong OFW na magpapadala sa akin ng pera para maramdaman ko yung value ng peso sa dollar. Okay, bigyan ka tayo ng example. Okay, alimbawa, um, uh, meron kang weekly allowance, say for example, you have 1,000 peso. O, ito, example ko na. Sarili kong example, 1,000 peso for my grocery or pamamalengke. Okay? So, one time I went to the grocery store, and uh, paglabas ko, halos wala nang sukli yung 1,000 ko. Tapos dalawang plastic bag lang yung dala ko palabas. So pagdating ko sa bahay, double check ako sa resibo at chinek ko baka may na-double punch. Kasi parang 1,000, ano ba yung binili ko, di ba? Parang bakit ito lang yung naging value ng pera. Okay? So... Kung come to think of it, no, sabi natin, wala tayong pakialam sa inflation, pero yung value ng pera mo na isang libo, na dati, eh, napupuno mo yung cart ngayon, dalawang bag na lang. So isn't it that this, this is affecting our lives? Hindi ba ito economics? Hindi ba ito parte ng ating pang-araw-araw? Yung pamamalengke? ba? Diba? And in the long run, if katulad ngayon may pandemya, no, ang uh, magiging epekto nito ay yung ating standard of living. Ayan, nakakalungkot man isipin, pero maapektuhan tayo talaga nito in the long run. Okay? So, another one is that um, in economics, we have understanding issues like externalities. For example, um, pagdating na panahon, o yung mga mami natin, o yung mga mami nyo, o mga daddy ninyo, eh, nagbabayad ng taxes. Ayaw na ayaw nila yan. Kasi sa payslip, kaltas yan, malaki yan. Lalo na kung high wage earner ang inyong parents. So they will see a certain amount na napupunta sa gobyerno. So, Siyempre kung meron tayo mga hinain tungkol dito, so um, nasasayangan tayo, lalong lalo na if we don't see improvements. Right? But if these taxes will be used ha, na maayos okay, uh, to improve facilities, or baka pwede to subsidize public transport. So, uh, this it might give us uh, different perspectives. So, that is again economics. No? Akala natin walang epekto, pero sa totoo, araw-araw natin siyang kasama. Araw-araw natin siyang nakakasalamuha. Okay? So, um, yun yung simple explanation with this. Now, allow me to show another illustration uh, to talk about economics. Okay, so on our next slide, I'm going to show you a picture, an illustration. Okay, so how um, how scarcity happens. Okay, so in my screen, next slide po. Okay, so we have three important points here. On the right of your screen, you have unlimited human wants. O oh, yan, once ka nilagay ko dyan eh. Um, iba pa yung need. So if you still remember, okay, sa mga estudyante ko, okay, naalala ninyo pa ba yung hierarchy of needs ni Abraham Maslow? Uh, kung hindi na, let me refresh you. Ang um, first level is physiological needs. Okay, yun muna. Ano bang kasama doon? Food, clothing, shelter. Ayan, very basic. Sabi, um, ito muna yung pinufulfill ng tao, yung basic. Ayan. Pero ngayon, parang iba na definition ng basic eh, no? Kasama na yata yung wifi dito. Kasi parang mamamatay ako pag walang internet. Tama? Okay. So yan ay unlimited human wants. Now, if ang tao na fulfill yung first level niya yan, according to Abraham Maslow, pupunta yan sa next level. Okay. Ano yung next level? Okay, taking it to the next level, eka nga, 
dito naman papasok yung ating need for security. Kaya isinama ko dyan yan eh, sa unlimited human wants. Okay, slash needs. Security, explain natin yan. Security dahil naghahanap tayo ng um, backup, for example. Uh, that's why we are sourcing for insurance to secure the future of our children o sa pansarili natin, pangalawa, um, kaya nagpapa-install tayo ng CCTV because we want security. Tama? Alright. So, yan. Uh, yung ibang level, hindi ko na muna i-explain kasi ito lang naman yung relevant para pag-usapan natin yung scarcity. Now, to your left, we have limited resources. O, pag sinabi natin limited, um, to kaunti. Hindi only. Hindi katulad dun sa kabila. Walang humpay. Di ba nga? Um, ito yung mga pag nasatisfy, eh, naghahanap pa ng iba. O naghahanap pa tayo ng iba pang ano pa, ano pa, ano pa. Okay? Because... Uh, we're human, so uh, yan ay nature natin. So, kung i-equate natin yung unlimited human ones, pana ninyo, at merong limited resources, merong disbalance. Diba? So, dito papasok yung scarcity. Alright? So, scarcity. What is scarcity? Scarcity is insufficiency of resources to meet the wants of the consumers. Kaya, Yung araw na yan, limited resources and limited human wants papunta yan sa scarcity. Sa Tagalog, kakulangan. Okay? Anong gagawin natin para mapunuan yan? Okay. So, yan po yung uh, explanation dito sa slide na to. Alright? I uh, hope you're still with me. Okay pa kayo dyan? Okay? Show us some hearts naman. Kung kayo po ay nag nandyan pa, may kausap pa ako. Yeah. All right, so let's go to the next slide to define what is economics, okay? So, with this definition, okay, with my example that I gave a while ago, this is to define uh, these examples that I had. So, economics is a social science that deals with the effective use of scarce resources, as I've explained a while ago, in order to satisfy the unlimited ones of human beings. Okay? So, nagliliwanag na ba yung mundo nyo? Nakikita nyo na ba na economics ay parte ng ating araw-araw na buhay? Yes? Yes. ba? It is a social science. Bakit? Anong kinalaman? Because social science is a study about how people behave within the context of a society. Okay? Kanina yung response natin, paano tayo nag-response sa mga choices that is um, about social sciences. Alright. So, yun lang po yung concept. Yun lang po yung concept ng economics. Walang dapat ikatakot. Okay? Kasi, um, ang karaniwan nagiging feedback ko sa mga estudyante ko kapag ka economics, mm, boring yan. Mm, seryoso yan. Okay? Pero, sa totoo, pag in-explain na at uh, napag-usapan na, yan, na-realize sila, oo nga, ano, hindi naman pala siya ganun kaseryoso o hindi naman pala siya ganun kabigat pag-usapan. Except, pag mag-graph na kami, medyo ibang usapan na yun, ayawan na daw. Okay? So, uh, let's continue the illustration that we had a while ago. So, on my next slide, I'm going to show you uh, what, we, what we're gonna do after scarcity. Eh, ano ngayon? Kung may scarcity, ano mangyayari? Next slide na po tayo. Uh, to define or to continue our illustration. So, review lang natin. We have unlimited human wants versus limited resources. Therefore, there is a scarcity. Okay, so what are we going to do? So, this is where decision-making uh, comes in. Ayan. Dito na tayo nagkakaroon ng uh, pagdedesisyon, pagpili ba? Okay, because of scarcity, there is a need for a man to make decisions on how are we going to maximize these resources, okay? Eh, para naman kahit pa paano, satisfied pa rin yung mga wants ko. Dito pumapasok yung in the very simple context ng mga nanay natin na pagiging wais, di ba? Pinag-uubra-ubra, ano, yung meron siya. Halimbawa, um... Alimbawa, ng mga substitute na pwede niyang gawin, kung walang 
Margarine, pwedeng mantika na lang, di ba? O anak, katulad ka, katulad the, the other week, I asked my daughter to check on her uh, notebooks last year. O para meron pang magagamit or baka meron pang pwedeng ulitin. O, yung, well, um, you are teaching the concept of uh, being thrifty and to save. At the same time, uh, minamaximize mo anong resources na meron ka, di ba? Pero syempre, ibang usapan kapag ka face-to-face, we have to uh, present a very presentable uh, notebook. So, eh, kung nasa bahay naman, eh, carry na siguro yung um, last year no, na pwede pang sulatan. So, again, um, with this one, uh, with this scarcity, we don't have to worry naman na o kung may kakulangan tapos anong hihinto ng buhay. Of course not. Okay? This is where our decision-making comes in. Matalino ba tayong magdesisyon? Ma, ma, makakapili ba tayo ng best choice? Ayan. Palagi ko naririnig to, anong uh, face-to-face, kapag tinanong ko sila, anong pupuhanin nilang course, madalas sagot sa akin, hmm, nursing po ma'am. Eh bakit mo yan ang kinuha mo? Eh wala po ma'am, no choice po eh. Okay, no choice. No? Palagi yan, di ba? Bakit yan ang ulam mo ngayon? Eh, wala. Eh, no choice eh. Diba? Pero come to think of it, may choice tayo. Tama? Um, baka limited yung choices natin. O yun nga, uh, hindi masyadong maraming. Kaya, pero sa totoo, meron tayong choices. Okay? And that is where this our uh, intelligent decision making comes in. Okay? To continue with that, with that choices, sa next slide ko, explain ko sa inyo ng... Uh, economics is about choices. Next slide na po tayo. Okay? Next slide, sir. All right. So, Mark, uh, economics is all about choices. Kanina, balikan natin example kanina. Mamimili ka kung papasok ka ba sa trabaho o hindi. Aaral ka ba o lalakwa siya? Bibili ka ba o hindi? Apple ba o banana? Di ba? It's very simple. It's all about choices, no? Uh, people make choices because they cannot have they cannot have everything that they want, eh. Tama ba? Kasi kung hindi, eh, huwag tayo magtrabaho kasi eh, lahat naman makuprovide sa akin, eh. Okay? So, in making these choices, all choices are required to give up something. And pagin natin tatandaan, it requires to give up something. Example ko kanina, giving up on attending party over studying for final exams. Nag-iisipan pa ba yan? Alin ang mas matimbang? Pwede both, ma'am. Nadaling ko po yung reviewer ko habang nagpa-party. Hindi po. Okay? Dapat focus one, uh, isa, isa lang. It's all about choices. Katulad ngayon, uh, panahon ng pag-enroll. Okay? It's all about our choices as parents. Saan ba natin i-enroll yung mga anak natin? Ha? Depende po sa budget. But um, talking about choices, are we doing the best decision? Are we trying to uh, decide for their benefit? Okay. So let's weigh on these matters before we choose and before we decide. Okay? Kasi for me as a parent, not only as a teacher, we decided to uh, be here. Ako po ay Monikan, and I want my children also to be Monikans. That's why we're here. Okay? We believe uh, that this school will be the best choice for us, uh, for the good education of our children. Ayan. Okay? So, malapit na ako matapos, no? Konti na lang. Uh, papaliwanan ko sa inyo kung paano naman kung walang scarcity kung walang choices, kung anong mangyayari. But the next slide, next slide po. What will happen if there is no scarcity? Uh, ito yung mga usong ano, linyahan ngayon. Andy ka, Andy. Ayan. Andy, some you, di ba? Andy, unlimited. Okay? Without scarcity, a person does not need to make decisions. Wala na. Stop na. Finish na. You don't have to make decisions. You don't have to make any choice. Bakit? Eh, you can have everything eh. 
you can have anything that you want. Okay? Kaso ano mangyayari? Ano sa tingin nyo mangyayari? Of course, mawawala ng value. Number one, ang hard work. Nagtatrabaho ko pa, hindi na, bakit? Eh, lumabas na ako, may pera dyan eh. Diba ba? Lumabas na ako, may makakain ako dyan. Pwede akong kumuha dyan sa labas o pwede akong uh, manghingi. Kasi there's no scarcity. Wala kang kakatakutan na walang pera o magugutom ka. Okay? Wala nang gusto magtrabaho. Di ba? Does it make sense? Kaya may balance eh. Kaya, kaya hindi pwedeng gusto natin. Bakit kaya hindi nalang mag-produce yung Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas ng pera? Ha? Tapos pamigay na lang niya sa lahat ng tao. Lahat may pera. Di ba? Masaya yun. Okay? Kung maraming nagsisirculate na pera, therefore, yung value nun eh halos nawawala na. Kasi you don't have to use that money to buy your resources or your needs for that matter. Eh, kumuha ka na lang. Huwag ka na magbayad. Kasi wala nang value yung pera. Okay? Yes, that is correct, Sir Ruben. Scarcity makes us cherish and value the things that we have right now. True. Right? So, hindi lang sa concept ng pagkain, but everything, anything that we want, including the people uh, that we want. Kaya nga may death. No? Walang forever. Ayan. Bitter na naman. <laughs> okay? So, uh, let me let me end this uh, session. Okay? Tapos ako. Now, let me ask you, uh, do you think economics is important? Okay? Meron pala itong kasunod na picture, eh. No? Next slide po natin. What will happen if there is no scarcity? Next slide is, we can have anything that we want. We can have... Uh, our dream house, wala nang hard work, we can have, uh, we don't have to study anymore, we don't need to have good education, we don't have to have um, money because there's no purpose. There is no point anymore. So again, let me repeat the question. Uh, do you think that economics is important? So, yun lang po ang aking uh, may impart for this afternoon. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this afternoon session. Parang nagkwentuhan lang tayo. Parang nag-explain lang ako ng bahagya. Okay? And I hope that everyone uh, learned from today's session. So, uh, I think we were going to pause for a break. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Good afternoon, everyone. Wow, Miss Aileen, that was really quick, but definitely very relevant. Thank you for teaching us, again, the economics in everyday life, that there's economics in every decision, even how small it is. But before we move on to the next part of our lecture for this uh, afternoon, we will have a short break, and within five minutes, we'll begin the much-awaited open forum. Our lecturer will be answering some of the questions that were posted in the comment section. So please keep on posting. If you have any comment or question, uh, feel free to do so. And also, you may also post uh, your thoughts or, or whatever you want to say with Ms. for Ms. Eileen. So stay right there and we will be back in a bit.
All right, so we are now back. Let's not wait any longer for this much-awaited open forum. So this is the time to for us to entertain your questions. Uh, may, may it be posted online or sent to us privately. So we're still waiting for some of your questions. Lord Misha, just post your questions or share your thoughts or message to Miss Irene. All right, so hello, Miss Eileen. Are you ready for our open forum? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay, so before I leave, Again, uh, before I read the questions, ma'am, again, uh, thank you for your sharing. And it's actually a very good um, refresher for the students who are grade 10 now or higher higher grade level and a good introduction for incoming grade 10 students. I hope they're watching right now. And I think this is very relevant, especially now that we're facing a very... Uh, huge problem that is the pandemic and i think uh this is the time to really um review and uh be critical on how we apply the things we learn with economics and how to solve the worsening uh the worsening econom economy of our country isn't it isn't it right inside me yes ma'am kahit na napakaseryoso no, ng mga problema na kinakaharap natin ngayon. Um, I think um, our, our students should be very much involved with uh, not solving the economic prob problem. Of course, definitely we can't do that. Kahit po tayong malalaki, hindi natin yan kaya. But then again, um, with the topic that I imparted, with the details that I discussed a while ago. So I hope that uh, the sa decision making, they will be very active and um, think carefully of the choices that they're doing, especially now na napaka uh, dali na lang mag-click, mag-share na kung ano-ano sa social media. So we have to be very careful with that. Yes, indeed, ma'am. Yes, now, now um, may I read the first question from our viewers? Ma'am, how can our knowledge of economics help us cope with economic issues we are facing? Okay. Parang pang Miss Universe yung tanong, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, napaka-broad kasi talaga ng pag pinag-usapan natin yung economic issues na, pinag na meron tayo. Very serious yan. Nakakalungkot yan kasi um, napakadami, lalo ngayon na may pandemic. I think it's not only the Philippines that is facing with a lot of economic issues. Now, talking about the Philippine context or the Philippine setting, um, let me talk about um, unemployment. Okay. Kasi ito, medyo napapanahon to eh. Uh, napakarami talagang um, hindi natin masisising mga magulang na nagsi, uh, masakit man sa loob nila, nagilipat sa ibang school, ano? lalo na na nag-public school sila. We cannot blame them kasi probably they were affected with this, ano, with this problem. So talking about unemployment rates, so... Meron ba akong magagawa dyan? Meron ba magagawa ba yung knowledge ko dyan sa economics, sa unemployment rate? Uh, sa isang banda meron. Okay? Huwag natin pag-usapan yung may-ari ka ng kumpanya. Okay? Um, kasi kung may-ari ka ng kumpanya, well, definitely you can do a lot. Na? Pwede kang mag-hire ng mga tao. Pwede kang mag-employ. Pwede kang, you know, you can give jobs. But, Paano kung simpleng mamamayan? Paano kung uh, uh, simpleng maganda ka lang? Ano nang sagot natin dyan? So, with this one, sa ating unemployment rate, no, uh, pag-usapan natin gaano ba seryoso yan. Okay? 
Uh, according to PSA, ang, ang employment rate natin is 8.7 percent. Pag kanilang state natin yan, parang sa 10 percent, um, close to 10 percent, mababa lang. Okay? Pag state natin yan sa uh, number of people, that's about uh, 4 million. 4 million na walang trabaho. So imagine, madami yun, right? Napakadami yan. At ang pinag-uusapan natin ay labor force, which is composing of 63.2% ng labor force. Um, nakakapagtaka, nakasama na dito ay 15-year-old pataas. So kung iisipin natin, dapat hindi pa nagtatrabaho, ito yung mga high school natin na anak. But then again, because of uh, this problem that we have now, napipilitan magtrabaho. Okay? So uh, anong kinalaman nito? So, saan pa punta yung unemployment rate at sa knowledge na ikanaan? So, let me explain further. Now, um, upon researching, upon reading, no, I saw that there are top five sectors no, that increase, despite this unemployment rate, meron pa rin nag-increase yung number of employed persons. E interestingly, interestingly, the first that I saw was from the sector of wholesalers and retailers. Okay? Ano naman ngayon yan? Kung may wholesalers at retailers at dumami yung mga empleyado nila. Well, um, yung wholesaler and retailers, if you're going to look at it, uh, in the cons context of um, businesses, yan, hindi ka magtataka kasi napakadaming sumul po talaga ng online sellers. Okay? Isa po ko dyan na nakita ko po yung opportunity na kikita ka. Okay? Uh, kikita ka sa very minimal na ilalabas mong pera. Gun are the days na brick and mortar ang pag-open pag natin ng negosyo. Eh. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin magtayo ng building, bumili ng lupa, maglabas ng maraming pera. No? Ngayon, uh, very simple na lang as long as you have knowledge on how to... Uh, run a small business, you have money, you have internet, you have phone nga lang eh, di ba? You can run a business. You just have to post the item. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Um, this opportunity to earn, okay, according to the survey, has emergence. So, if we have that kind of information, if we know that these details are very relevant, then Practically, we know how to, when to invest or where to invest our money for that matter. Or kung nag-iisip tayo ng pagkakakitaan, ito na, ito yung sagot, no? Para magkaroon tayo ng additional income para nang sa ganun, hindi tayo dumagdag sa unemployment rate na meron tayo ngayon, which is 8.7%. So, yun lang po yung aking uh, ma- sasagot tungkol dun sa pagkakaroon natin ng knowledge about economics. Thank you, Miss Miss Eileen, for your very informative uh, discussion again about that question. And indeed, uh, yes, it's very important to see the opportunity behind this uh, problem that we are facing and thank you for pointing that out i'm i know we also have lots of monicans who are into online selling right now and i also believe that because of the teachings they had uh, or rather the learnings they had because of economics the subject economics uh, they were able to apply it and let's support our local uh, local sellers or even resellers or retailers and involved so uh, are there any other questions um, from our viewers makanahihiya lang kayo ah mag post lang But uh, Mom, uh, let me just share also uh, what I one of the things that struck me of your discussion, yung, yung term na value. So, uh, yun sana ang isa rin sa maiwan sa ating mga viewers na uh, merong economics sa lahat ng bagay, sa pagdedesisyon, 
and it leads us to give more value to everything, lalo na sa mga taong kasama natin. And this pandemic has taught us that to value every single moment that we share with our family. So that's my main uh, takeaway. So you ha do you have any other words to share, Mom Eileen, or parting words? No? Oh, siguro, ma'am, um, since we're talking about choices, no, at um, pinag-uusapan na lang din naman natin ay yung future ng ating mga anak o ating mga estudyante. Okay, so let's have um, a very careful decision, a very careful uh, decision making before we make our choices. Let us always consider uh, the benefits that we're going to have before the decision. Lalong lalo na po tungkol sa pag-aaral ng ating mga anak. Amidst the pandemic, kami hindi namin sanasabi na hindi kami nahihirapan. In fact, uh, isa ito sa mga struggle namin with regards to finances. But we still manage to um, gawa ng paraan for our children because we we or we believe talaga in advocacy of CSME uh, about uh, having a good and quality education. So, yun lang po siguro yung uh, parting words. Thank you. Thank you again, Ms. Aileen. So, that's the challenge to all of us. No? Let's, Let's make, make the, the best choices. Minsan mahirap. Minsan na may mga mahirap talagang bagay, pero... Uh, yun yung skill na kailangan din natin matutunan, how to make the best choices. So, do we still have other questions? Uh, we have uh, another question, oh, just right now, from Jana Olivia. Marami pong karagdagang gastos na kailangan para bumagay ang isang existing business sa kasalukuyan natin situation. Saan po kaya pwedeng kumuha ng pondo para tugunan ito? Yeah, that's her question, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Jana, no? uh, for this question. Jana was uh, one of my best students last year in my economic, my entrepreneurship class. Okay, so again, uh, gusto ko rin sana ng malaman ng sagot para dito. Pero susubukan kong sagutin ito, Jana. So totoo yan, no? maraming karagdagang gastos, no? Um, enrollment time, pagbili ng libro, sama natin yung basic needs that we have. Tapos gusto mong madagdagan yung kakarampot o kukunti mong sweldo para nang sa ganun pataasin mo yung level uh, ng way of living mo, standard of living mo, that is to have a business. Actually, struggle talaga to. No? Saan tayo kukuha ng pera? Eh, kahirapan nga ngayon. Anong ano? Alam nyo, um, meron tayong tinatawag na small and medium entrepreneurs, SMEs, okay? Marami ang hindi nakakaalam na mayroong, uh, o oh, ito, uh, I'm not from the government, but I just know that uh, there is this uh, group in our government that uh, actually lend money for those who want uh, to have additional funding, especially the SMEs, the small and medium entrepreneurs. So, ito ay uh, pwede natin coordinate with DPI. Yan. Uh, they have that. As long as uh, ang magiging struggle mo lang dito, dapat konkreto yung business mo. Kung mag apag ko, hindi puro laway. Merong ebidensya na paano kita pauutangin. So, again, um, nagiging struggle ng isang business na nagsisimula ay ano? Ay uh, wag, wag magsimula sa utang. Pero, uh, kung ang gobyerno ay nagsusustain o kung ito ay nabibigay sa, ng tama itong pondo na to para sa mga nangangailangan, I think because uh, I believe that this is uh, zero to very minimal interest. 
ang nangyayari kasi ma'am eh, ang mga nagninegosyo ngayon without prior knowledge with regards to finances, talagang kumakagat po tayo sa mga sharp loans. Ang nangyayari po, umuutang po tayo para hindi buhayin ang sarili natin, kundi buhayin itong mga uh, lending finance, lending ano na to, lending uh, companies na to. Kasi yung tubo po ng nakakarampot na meron tayo sa negosyo ay napapapunta pa po sa interest na binabayad natin. Ganun din po sa banko. Um, kung bago po tayo makapag-file ng loan at mapautang ng banko, katakot-takot po yan, folder na requirements po yan. So, again, um, let me just repeat my answer. There is a government, there is a, uh, I think in LGU we have that, no, for local uh, SMEs na pwede nating mapagpanungan with regards to funding. Thank you again, Sarin, for answering that question. Uh, siguro po may dagdag ko na rin yung uh, para lang may labas ko rin po aking salary. Pwede po ba, ma'am? Sure, sure, ma'am. That's why it's an open forum. Ayan. So, Jana says thank you. Ayan. Thank you rin, Jana. Uh, siguro to add, syempre napakahalaga na ang um, mga mamamayan ay matalino sa pagdedesisyon, sa pagpili ng tamang desisyon o paggawa ng tamang desisyon. Pero kakibat niyan para mamasigit na umunlad ang isang bansa, lalo na ngayong may pandemya, ay matalino rin sa pagdedesisyon ng ating pamahalaan. Tama po yung sinabi ni Ms. Aydin na meron naman talagang programa ang bawat gobyerno tungkol dyan kasi part yan ng financial uh, cycle, hindi po ba, na kaya sila nanihingi ng buwis, eh, para tulungan, masigurado na uh, maayos ang takbo ng ekonomiya ng isang bansa. At napakalaga nga na sinusuportahan ng pamahalaan ang small and medium enterprises or entrepreneurs. Kaya yan ay, para sa akin, uh, it's, kung titignan natin yung relasyon ng mamamayan at ng businesses at ng gobyerno, dapat yan ay pantay na pagtutulungan at dapat ay uh, tapat ang paglilingkod para talagang mabigyan kung sino ba yung karapat dapat. Yung pondo ay dapat ay ligtas para mailaan kapag ganitong may problema na kailangan paglaanan nga ng pera. So, yun lang po ang aking karagdagan. Thank you po. Uh, meron pa po ba tayong karagdagan tanong? Ayan, mukhang okay na po. Pwede na tayong okay na. Sige. Okay na po tayo, Miss Irene? O meron pa po ba kayong gusto pang idagdag o i-share? Ayan, mukhang may mga pahabol pa, Miss Irene. Okay lang po ba? May pahabol po tayo. Sige po. From Gillian. Good afternoon po. Sa situation po natin ngayon, ano pong investment ang pinakamagandang i-consider? Ayan po. Ma'am? Alright. But then, oh, gusto ko yan. No? Ano, nagtatanong sila kasi ibig sabihin, interesado sila. Yeah. Gillian, Uh, with regards to your question, ano po ang investment ang pinakamagandang i-consider? Feeling ko tuloy si Chinky Tan ako ngayon. <laughs> okay. So, ipapalik ko sa iyo tanong. Okay? Before we invest into something, okay, let me ask this question. What are your interests? Ano ba yung gusto mo? Um, ano ba yung um, passion mo? Kasi di, marami kasi ang nagninegosyo na basta na lang magsisimula. Okay? Unang-una, Uh, because of trend. Yan. Sasabay tayo sa trend. Tapos pagka nawala yung trend, wala na rin yung negosyo natin. Kasi hindi natin masyadong napagplanuhan. At hindi baka our heart, is, heart, our heart is not into it. Okay? When we venture, when I ventured with uh, Attack on Cosmetic, this is actually a uh, concept from my daughter. Kasi Kikai, no? uh, I just funded her with regards to cosmetics. We ventured into that one kasi that's her likings, no? Yan po yung kanyang hilig. So, 
might as well, sabi ko, kung nandun ang puso niya, di ba, ibibigay niya lahat ng best niya. And true enough, no? Uh, when we had that, when we, we conceptualized that, I realized that she has a lot of things going on in her mind na gusto ninyang i-boost ang panahon niya dun sa negosyo na yun. Again, um, what are we going to consider? Franchising ba? Retail ba? Uh, gusto ba natin ng sole proprietorship? Marami po tayong dapat i-consider. Okay? Uh, tatandaan natin, we have to consider yung ating funding. Ayan. Uh, are we really ready to have that kind of business? Are we really ready to uh, operate a business within the six months concept or within um, a six months uh, span of time na, na nakahanda ba tayo na walang papasok na income kung di pa tatakbuhin lang yung pera na to? So those are just considerations kasi may iba nag-venture into business. Bakit? Iniisip nila na pag pinasok nila itong negosyo nito, yayaman sila agad. Hindi po ganun. Wala pong ganun, okay? When we venture into something, when we venture particularly in business, we have to realize that when we put that money and our hearts into that, uh, it's, it entails a lot of hard work. Hindi lang po siya about pera. Hindi lang siya about franchise. Oh, nag-franchise ako, Jollibee, sikat yan. Ah, kumikita yun sa agaray. Malamang kikita yun sa agat. Hindi po ganun. Uh, it's not a pattern that we just have to follow. Although, in franchising, given yan, that uh, um, lahat ihahando na, kung bagay, uupo ka na lang, it's more than that. It's beyond, there are a lot of context going on para masabi natin that this venture or this uh, investment will be for me. So, again, Jillian, uh, consider these questions that I have uh, mag so mag heart to heart question ka ano ba talaga yung gusto mo ano ba talaga yung kaya ng pera mo okay na pag-uubrahin natin para nang sa ganun makagawa tayo ng plano this is very important to have business plan before we open a business kasi ito po yung bible ng ating negosyo okay po wow from the broad uh, topic of economics now we are to a specific uh, subject which is business thank you miss Eileen, for sharing your expertise your um your knowledge with this so magka countdown muna ba ako baka meron pang gustong humabol mukhang talagang very interested ang ating uh, young uh, students yeah thank you daw po from julian Na 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 uh, feel free to uh, comment and we will send it to Miss Eileen and we'll see how we can uh, reach out to you and send you her answers. Okay lang po ba, ma'am? Sige, ma'am, no problem. So, and with that, we will end our lecture this afternoon. So once again, thank you very much to all our active viewers. Thank you for your questions and insights. And most especially, thank you very much, Miss Eileen, for your generosity, for sharing your enriching ideas and suggestions that could help everyone appreciate economics and making wise decisions in life. Thank you for being with us. And also, again, our warmest appreciation to our viewers who participated in this lecture. So tomorrow, we will resume our lecture at 10 o'clock in the morning. Perhaps many will be interested to join this upcoming lecture for we will be hearing about the basic principles of psychosocial support, particularly the art of empathic listening. Once again, thank you for being with us this day. See you tomorrow.